a massively multiplayer online first-person shooter game have been a top-played game for a very long time. Its ability to play together with other players with large amount of player in one session make the gameplay very amazing and craving. Combined with first-person perspective and shooting actions makes it more realistic and competitive. FPS let us play the game like we actually in the game, seeing the world with our own eyes, seeing the gun blazing, rolling out around, and feel like we actually shooting a real gun to the real enemy. Take one for example, Counter Strike, a modification from Half-Life game have evolved into a series of a new game. Beginning with Counter-Strike 1.0 in 1999 and continued with CS Condition Zero, CS Source, Counter-Strike Neo, Counter-Strike Online, and Counter-Strike Global Offensive in 2012. This game has been a competitive game and very popular in the realm of esports. Later, new genre have come and also take advantage of MMO feature, and that genre was Battle Royale and is used in games such as Fortnite, Player Unknowns, Battle Brown. And if you know why I am doing this video is because I will show you how to make MMO FPS game from scratch with Unity Game Engine. Now. If you don't know what Unity is, Unity is a cross-platform game engine developed by Unity Technologies and is the engine that powering games like The Forest, Escape from Tarkov, and many other AAA games. So it's not a slightly game engine, it is competent game engine but still simple to use and learn. That is why we are going to use Unity for this project. This is going to be a video series so make sure you hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this in the present. So how do we make an FPS game? Before we jump into that section, I want to let you know that this games I currently showing is developed by a team called Maxtrick Games. We are making game from scratch from the point where we don't really know how to make a game, how to programming, how to level design, we don't know a lot of things, but things that make us always try is because curiosity and passion, so we can love the learning process. We start this game by making the FPS player controller, because this is the very basic part of FPS games, you know because it is FPS games right? We make the controller really from scratch, we don't take any Unity's provided standard FPS controller because we want to customize it a lot, so we decided to make it from scratch, it will be more easier than customing the whole script. So as you can see here, is our very basic controller, you got WASD to walk, run with shift, and look around, and even see your own bodies. We always want to make this game as realistic as possible. That is why we priority realism, but not yet for graphics maybe. But at least the mechanism. In the controller, I break the system into three different parts, which is the player itself, the animation controller, and the weapon controller. The player controller controls how the player move and interact with others. It also play the animation based on user input access. We use Blend 3 to mix the animation and so we can control them easily. And to make the character move, we use a custom root motion handler. So, we don't just use the raw animation root motion, but we also mix them 
calculated them based on current user input and make the speed more natural by using a file of curve. This is also applied to the camera movement. And the third part is the weapon, where we place all of our weapons models. So you can see here, splitting it into three different parts from our player systems makes it easier to develop and to extend. This is your very basic framework that you will starting on soon. Now, for the multiplayer backend, we will be using Python Unity Networking because it is easy to use and to learn. You can make your own UDP game server if you want, but Python is works just fine for me. And there might be some database system for our game. And we will be using PHP and MySQL for that, so we can integrate them easily with Web later. So that's it for now guys, we will continue and take the first step on this project, see you later on the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video, please thumbs up this video, share it if you found this useful, and subscribe for more videos, it's free. Videos like this take hundreds of hours to make, please consider support us on Patreon or share the video, spread the words.